advice and excited to be here to meet because, as most of you know, for the first two years of Taylor and Courtney's relationship, I lived in D.C. And I thought my entire family lost their mind for about a good year or two because first my sister gave her phone number to some random guy in an airplane. And not for him, but for his brother. And then my parents invited the same random person to come up with him. And that's not something my parents would normally do. So there was a good couple years that I was convinced that everyone was just lost their mind. But then I moved home and I realized that maybe this guy has some promise, and maybe, yeah, I guess he could become part of the family. And so I'm really happy and excited to be here. And I know these speeches are a lot about giving advice to the happy couple, and I don't have any advice I could possibly give to a married couple. But I come from a family that has lots of happy marriages and has a long line of just really strong, happy marriages. And so I asked all of my aunts and uncles and my parents for a piece of advice they could give Courtney and Taylor. My parents have been married for almost 35 years. And Courtney and Taylor, they tell you that, oh God, what did they tell you? <laughs> <laughs> that you, oh, you have to have good time together. That it's really important to have quality time for just the two of you. Even once you have kids and all of that, you need to make time that the two of you can spend together apart from them. My Aunt Kay and Uncle Craig have been married for going on 29, 30 years. And on the eve of their wedding, my papa, who was married to my nana for 37 years before he passed, told them they should remember the four Fs. Family, fun, finances, and friendship. So always, if you can remember those four things, you're going to be okay. And it's worked for them for almost 30 years. Chris and Tom have been married for going on 25 years. And they told you to never let the sun go down on your anger, and that it's not the final score that matters, it's about compromising. That's mostly for you. <laughs> Good one. Well done. And Ken and Karen have been married for going on 20 years, and they said, don't try to change the other person because it's probably not going to work. It's about accepting each other for who they are. So with that, Taylor, I am so excited that you're now a member of the family. I might not always tell you that or show you that, but I am very excited. And please, everyone, raise your glass and help me in celebrating the next your whole life. And we wish you love, laughter, and happily ever after.